Welcome back to Channel KT. I'm Dan. Um, happy New Year right off the bat. Happy 2017. Hopefully your New Year's was as good as mine. Um, I say that because I spent my New Year's with some friends down in a cabin outside of Whitefish in the beautiful state of Montana. Um, we celebrated in what they called true American style, uh, which consisted of a lot of bourbon, a lot of beer, and a lot of backyard fireworks. Man, you guys know how to throw a party down there. Holy props to you guys. Uh, that was some of the f most fun I've ever had with fireworks in my entire life. And we don't get to play with them very much up here in Canada because um, the government thinks that I guess we'll light our hair on fire. I'm not sure. They just don't like uh, bright lights and loud noises, I guess. <laughs> um, however, they do in Montana. So check that out if you ever get the chance. That was awesome. Uh, and while I was down... Uh, stateside, I decided to take advantage of the wonderful prices on your pipe tobacco and I brought back pretty much the max amount I was allowed to as well as my fiance. She brought back some as well. Uh, she smokes pipe from time to time um, and I'll get into that in just a sec. Um, but first I want to do a quick review on Cornell and Deal's uh, exclusive. Uh, that's their heavy periqued vapor blend. Um, if you watch my last video uh, you'll see I did kind of an unboxing. I did an order from Smoking Pipes um, for four four grams, um, of which came in a little bag. Um, it came soaking wet, uh, so I jarred it right away, and I had to dry it out um, a little bit. But uh, Exclusive uh, is a vapor, so it consists of what they claim to be 50% Perique. Um, after smoking it as much as I have, I I would argue that it's probably closer to um, higher 30s, maybe go so far as saying 50. I think it's a bit lower, but definitely high perique. Um, it also has some Virginias making it a vapor. Um, I believe they are red Virginias in this. And the Virginias were amazing. They're really, really delicious. Um, and it also has some Cavendish, some Burley Cavendish, I believe, in there. And that was pretty subtle in the background. I think keeping everything kind of balanced and together, it did a great job of that. Um, but yeah. So smoking Cornell and Deal exclusive, I put it in my little jar here. Um, again, like I said, took a lot of drying time. So before you even try to smoke this, you're going to have to dry it out. I dried it for about 45 minutes with the jar lid open, um, tossing it around every once in a while. That seemed to do the trick. And I found it smokes better when it's a little drier than a little more moist. So it's still springy, but it's on the drier side. I, I found the flavors kind of come out more balanced when it's a little bit drier. Um, so yeah, so right off the bat when you're smoking this, uh, for the first, you're going to get a ton of perique, very spicy, peppery, dark, plummy fruit, um, really, really nice, but very in your face. So if you're not a big, strong blend lover, like I am, like I love perique and this was right up my alley. So I suggest it for those who are into heavy vapors or straight perique or whatever, whatever you perique freaks like, um, I would suggest it. Um, however, halfway, about halfway through the, the bowl, uh, the Virginias start coming out and they, they're very sweet and very well-rounded. And I think that's a Cavendish, um, really well put together. The Perique is still present. It's ever present throughout the entire bowl, but the Virginias came out in a way that I've never had them before. The closest thing that I've had to this with the Virginias is Elizabethan mixture from Dunhill in that the, the Virginias were kind of bready and well-rounded. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. It's kind of like how they say with wine, you get a round mouthfeel. It's kind of like that. It's, it's a very mellow river to it, and it's really good. So about halfway through, the Perique kind of pulls back on the reins a bit and then allows the Virginias to come out, and they pretty much last till the end of the bowl. It's a pretty consistent blend um, in terms of smokeability. Um, it, it's, it smokes really well. It's a ribbon cut with a little bit of, I think there's some, there's something else in there. Um, I'm not sure exactly. It's a different kind of cut, but for the most part, it's ribbon cut, packs well, smokes great. Um, very consistent throughout the bowl. Um, but yeah, I would really suggest it for those who like heavy amounts of Perique. 
Um, it's a very well done blend. I'm very happy with it. I would definitely get it again. I would give it two thumbs up, which I don't give a lot of things two thumbs up. Um, I also saw in some of the reviews when I was looking into this stuff that they're comparing it to a Scudo. I've never had a Scudo. Uh, and then I also saw that people, I believe, have been comparing a Scudo to Deluxe Navy Rolls by Dunhill. And I was not a huge fan of the Deluxe Navy Rolls. So if a Scudo's like that, then I might not be too much into a Scudo. And if a Scudo then is being compared, I don't get it. There is a huge, this is nothing like Deluxe Navy Rolls at all. This is like way better, in my opinion, uh, way more interesting, way more dynamic than Deluxe Navy Rolls. So I'm not sure where the connection between these three is coming in. And again, it could be wrong. It could be something I'm thinking of that's totally different. Uh, so on that note, I don't think it's anything like a, a Scudo if a Scudo is like Deluxe Navy Rolls. Does that make sense? I don't know. But yeah, so it's good. Um, it's a fun blend. Like I said, it's easy to pack. I find this one's good for on the go. Um, I'll just pack a corn cob and go take the dog for a walk or stand and watch traffic on the balcony or whatnot. Um, but I would only suggest this one for people who like uh, heavier blends. This is not a subtle pipe smoker at all. Um, the nicotine in this is pretty good as well. It's pretty high. Um, definitely noticeable. You get a little bit of a buzz off it um, for the first couple bowls and you get kind of used to it. Um, but yeah, so yeah, that is exclusive, Cornell and Deal exclusive. Very good tobacco, very much enjoyed. So now on to the stuff in the States. First I'll show you the tins that I got and then I want to spend more time on the surprise that I found down there um, rather than on the tins because everyone's seen reviews for these. I'm not going to get into them heavily. I just picked them up because A, I haven't had them before and B, man, the prices are great down there. I don't even want to get into it. I was so shocked. I had to be dragged out of uh, the Safeway beer aisle. Actually, my jaw was on the floor. My fiance had to get a shovel to get it back up into my mouth because I could not get over um, the price difference between what we pay here with conversion rates and what you guys pay in the States. It's unbelievable. Anyways, so first tin, Dunhill nightcap, never had it before. Um, I'm hit or miss when it comes to the Latakia. Um, I very much enjoyed my mixture 965, so I figured, hey, let's go for the bigger brother. And so I got this. I have smoked it, I think, twice now, and I really enjoyed it. Very heavy, heavy, heavy Latakia, but very well done, very balanced. Um, so the next one. And this was interesting. I kind of left it at the store and came back for it uh, another day because I wasn't sure if I wanted it or not. But Dunhill Standard Mixture, Mellow. I knew nothing about this. When we were down in Montana, our cell phones were off. I had no internet connection. The cabin had no Wi-Fi. Of course, it's a cabin. Um, I had no access to any reviews on this stuff. I had to go off gut feeling, and I didn't really trust the... The teenagers working at the store there um, to give me their opinion on something they've probably never tried before. Um, not that that's a bad thing, but um, I just went on gut for this one. I'm glad I did. I really, it's a very, as it says, mellow. It's a very laid back mixture. It's very nice, very sparse on the Latakia. So it's, it's a lot more, I think, oriental and Virginia forward. It's got some Turkish in it. It's good. Yeah, I like that one. And then the next and final tin that I got was Mac Baron Dark Twist, and this is the big tin. I've never seen something so big in my life. This is, um, I think, a 100 gram tin, 3.5 ounces. That's 100, I don't know. I did the math earlier, I can't remember. So, Dark Twist. This one, oh man. This has, uh, I think, Dark Fired Kentucky in it. And I've never had that before, and I was absolutely impressed I loved it it's like barbecue-y uh, it's like barbecue sauce so yeah I was really happy with this as well as it has they, some people they argue they say oh it's it's an aromatic oh it's not an aromatic because it's flavored with um, maple and sugar or something I don't care what it is it tastes really good and it's fun um, coins little coin cut which is also fun because you can cube it you can rub it out you can just fold and stuff it so all kinds of neat fun you can have with it um, so yeah, those are the tins that I got. Now for the surprise. This blew me away and a bit of a backstory here. So I like to peruse antique stores uh, with my fiance. We like looking for, well, she likes looking for all kinds of 
I don't know, antique stuff. I like looking and seeing if they have any pipes I can restore. Um, which at this place I didn't find any. Um, I found a really nice Brigham Volcano old one. Uh, however, it had uh, a pretty high price tag for what it was, as well as a replacement stem on it that just looked way out of place. So I had to pass on that one. So while I was waiting for the significant other to do her thing, um, I was looking around and I found a old metal pipe tobacco tin. And I like looking at those. I'm not a big fan of them. I don't think I'd buy them. Uh, but it was a brand that caught my eye because it, the color was orange. And I've never seen any orange pipe related tobacco stuff. So I looked at it and it was called Sir Walter Rayleigh. And it looked pretty old, the tin. I'm guessing for quite a few years ago. I've never heard of it, never seen it online, quite honestly. I've never, never even knew that it existed. And I uh, honestly, looking at that tin and not having any backstory or motivation to look it up, I figured it was like a dead tobacco or something that they just didn't make anymore. So when I was standing and paying for gas down in Montana, um, I, I looked over at their selection of drugstore tobaccos and I saw the Carter Hall and I saw the Prince Alberts and I saw the Captain Black and then I looked and I saw Orange and I saw Sir Walter Rayleigh and I thought that's kind of neat so it's not a dead tobacco then I again didn't have Wi-Fi so I couldn't do any research on it so I was like ah whatever so I'll buy a pouch of it with the gas so I get a pouch of it and I look at the price tag and I almost fell over so I'm sure the lady thought I was drunk. Get over the fact that it was four twenty nine for an ounce and a half of tobacco. That is ludicrous, <laughs> from what I'm used to. Um, so yeah, I got this. It was in a little sealed container. I brought it back to the cabin, opened it up, smelled it, and I almost fell off my chair. I've never had a straight burly before. This is pretty much a straight burly. Um, it was nutty. There's definitely some sweet flavoring, subtle, subtle, subtle sweet flavoring to it. Um, and it was dry as a rock. So it's probably been sitting there for a while. But I was super amazed. So naturally, I packed a pipe and went outside and we chopped some wood for the fireplace. And I smoked this and I was blown away. I've seriously, I'm not going to do a review on this right now. I'm because there's not really much to review and it sounds weird. I really enjoyed this, but it's very one dimensional. It's straight burly, it was nutty, um, good nicotine hit, super dry, uh, so no tongue bite whatsoever. Um, I was just blown away, I was amazed. It was a very consistent smoke, but it was a very basic one dimensional smoke. So I won't need to do a review on this because much again to review. Um, but I was very happy with it and it was, amazing so I went back to the store and I got two more pouches to bring back to Canada um, and as you can see in here it says a mildly aromatic blend of burly tobaccos excellent for standalone use or blending and I didn't notice that till I got back to Canada and I, I thought to myself I very much enjoy this but what do you mean you sell this for blending as well and so that kind of intrigued me so not only can I smoke this straight, I can start messing around with my tobaccos and blending my own stuff, uh, which I'll get into in another video. I just wanted to say, hey, if you've never tried Straight Burley before or Sir Walter Rayleigh, this stuff's great. And then when I looked at the reviews, I was not surprised. It gets super good reviews. And for the price, oh my God, so I can smoke it straight up or I can blend it. I can do whatever I want with it and it's super cheap. Um, great tobacco. So if you get the chance... Uh, give it a shot. You're not going to lose out much on a 429A um, pouch. So yeah, that's my little surprise from the States. That's my Cornell and Deal exclusive review, uh, which I recommend both Cornell and Deal's exclusive and Sir Walter Rayleigh's cheap tobacco. So yeah, uh, I don't think I have anything else. Um, I've been really wanting to do a um, pipe lighter review. Um, because when I started out, I only had Bix, and I wanted to do a review for you guys. So I went into my local B&M, and I found a um, generic pipe lighter, I guess. You can, it's Lotus, I believe is the brand. And I've wanted to do a long-term review. I'm not going to just throw something up and say, oh, yeah, it worked for a day. It's great. Buy it kind of thing. So I'm working on a long-term review on this thing. I've used it quite a bit, actually, for the past, I think, three months now. 
Uh, and it's going pretty good, so I'll throw up maybe a review next time on that. So look forward to a pipe lighter review and different lighting systems for pipes for noobs because, hey, I'm still really new at this and I'm just finding my way in terms of lighting a pipe. So it's experimenting with those little things, right? So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, I have a few more subscribers now. Thank you so much for that, by the way. That's awesome. That pumps me up. Um, so if you guys want to see anything specific, just let me know um, again in the comments. And thanks again for tuning in. Have a good evening and a good 2017 and start to your new year. See you later. Mm -hmm.